This video is sponsored by One Football app. One Football app is the best football app in the whole world, which gives you the latest news, scores, live commentary, live tracking, player ratings, everything from the Premier League, Champions League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, all the leagues in the world. It gives the latest coverage, latest updates, latest everything. It's a must download for all the football fans. Honestly speaking, one of the best football app in the whole world. So download the One Football app in the given link below. Description it is given, it is mentioned. Click on the link and download the One Football app and get your latest scores, videos, upcoming fixtures, and everything related to football. If you are a football fan, then this One Football app is a must download. One of the most important match of this season, and Chelsea has been absolutely pathetic, dog shit, and absolutely rubbish to say the least. No words to describe that performance. This performance is coming from a deflated, embarrassing, spineless, gutless, toothless, clueless team who doesn't know what the future of the club holds and what the future of the ownership holds and what the future of their contracts holds. It just shows like that only. Honestly speaking, this was the worst performance under Thomas Tuchel's managership. Worst performance. Beyond third class. It was different class altogether. That worst it was. I really don't understand what was the game plan. None of his substitution worked at all. Really pathetic, horrible it was. And I really don't understand how can they leave Vinicius Jr. so free. He was running like a leopard all around. He was running like a leopard, free as a bird, free as a leopard, that's it. And Christensen, oh my God, salute to him, salute. With my chappal, I'll give a salute to him for his amazing, outstanding, spellbinding performance, defensive performance. We couldn't differentiate him bet between Christensen as a defender or as a Statue of Liberty. That good was his performance. He was just like a statue mode. Whole game he was just statue mode. He was getting dribble past players after players after players. He was getting dribble past Benzema. He was getting dribble past Valverde. He was getting dribble past Vinicius Juria. He was getting dribble past each and every player. Modric also he was getting dribble past. I really don't understand what was his performance. Really. His contract is getting over. It seems like he's not interested to play for Chelsea Football Club again. It looks like that. That's what I said first. It's all uncertainty. The team looked rattled. That's it. Now coming to the Sengali Spider-Man Mendy's performance. Seriously, I was shocked. It's shell-shocking to see that type of mistake. It looked like as if he has got piles today, man. It looked like he has got piles. Absolutely shell-shocked. What was that? What was that? That was a golden chance of coming back into the match. And he has given a hundred plunder he has given. Hundred plunder he has given, man. School boy, that is not even a school boy. That is a nursery boy error, man. That one was. Even I could have uh, given a better clearance than that. What was that nonsense? I really don't understand. Seriously, free man. He has given Benzema a hat trick. He has given Benzema a hat trick. And talking about the substitution of the day, Romelu Lukaku. He is absolutely fuckaku. That's it. He's finished, man. Means I really don't understand what's his qualification to be a footballer. I really don't understand what is his contribution to this club, what is his contribution to the contract, what's the contribution to the fans and what's his contribution on the pitch. I really don't understand what's his qualification to be a footballer. Really, look at Benzema how he's scoring the headers. So difficult headers they were man. So difficult headers they were. He's scoring with ease, with finesse and with touch and our striker, our striker, 100 million striker is missing sitters after sitters man, sitters after sitters. Today, if Chelsea Football Club terminates Lukaku's contract, it will not make any difference seeing his performance on the pitch. No difference it will make. Absolutely shell-shocking performance. Shell-shocking performance. He's not even the first man to win the ball, man. Militao is winning the ball. What is his use of the physical presence? What's the use of the physical strength? What is the use? What is the use? What is the use of being a prolific striker, 100 million striker, if he's playing like that? Means absolutely rubbish. Absolutely. None of the substitution worked today. Even ZH was poor. Even Loftus Cheek was poor. Only Kovacic played here and there, somewhat here and there he played. Means whole team, the moral was completely down and out. That's it. Down and out. And we are very lucky that we are trailing by only two goals. In the first half, if that Vinicius Junior would have hit a target, instead of hitting the post, if he would have hit the target, and if Benzema would have not missed the chance, we would have been lost by 5-6 goals today, man. We would have lost 5-6 goals. Premier League season is done and dusted. This was one of the most important and one of the most anticipated match. Chelsea versus Real Madrid and the team has not turned up at all. They have not, the players have not given even 10%, forget about 100%. And they have made nursery boy errors. Nursery boy errors. Even schoolboys will not make such mistakes. Schoolboys will at least know whom to mark and whom to uh, tackle. And not leave their most fastest player freely like a leopard. Free as a leopard, they not leave. 
So this was very very disappointing. Very very disappointing and most worrying sign is that what will be the future of the club? Who will be the future owners? Whether the club will exist or not? Whether the club will stay or not? They'll play the next season or not? Will the manager stay or not? Will the player stay or not? That is the most disappointing sign. No chance, no chance, only 5% chance is there, that also if they play for their life. But the way they have performed today, especially the midfield, Kante and Jorginho, they got annihilated. Annihilated and they got busted, busted and dominated by Cruz, Modric and Casemiro. Busted open they got off man, busted open, shocking performance. Kante only one through ball he has given in the match in the first 15 minutes and Kai Havas missed that chance. Other than that, nothing he has done. Jorginho also, hardly only one ball he has given assist and Kai Havas has scored. But really, their midfield, their three midfield and including Valverde also, extra man in the midfield, they were far better than our midfield and our defence, defence, really salute to them man, salute them with the boots, salute them with the boots, such a brilliant performance they have given, God only knows they existed or not, they didn't even exist today's match, the defence, especially the centre-backs, three centre-backs, horrifying performance, if they defence like that in the second leg, then we will not lose by 3 goals, we will lose by 7 to 8 goals, we will lose like that. Today also we are very lucky that we have lost only by 2 goals or else if Vinicius Junior or Benzema would have scored their chances, we have lost by 5 to 6 goals today, honestly speaking. Shocking performance, horrifying performance, spineless performance, clueless performance, third class performance.